All right, so for a while now, I've had a laser that I haven't shown off on YouTube. If you follow me on social media, at Myers Woodshop on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, you might have seen it. It's a fiber laser. This is the OM Tech 30 watt fiber laser. It's different than the bigger lasers that I've used in the past. This one mainly focuses on metal. Let's take a look at it. Fiber laser is a little different than the laser you're used to me using. All right, this is the normal laser that you've seen a whole bunch of. This is the Mira 9 from Eon Laser. This is a CO2 laser, and this does primarily wood and some plastics. Now, I know you're gonna ask, what's the difference between this giant laser that I'm standing by, the CO2 laser, and the fiber laser that I'm gonna show off? So CO2 laser is made for organic material, being leather, wood, things that are living and breathing. A fiber laser is used more for non-organic. Basically, 99% of what you're gonna use this for is metals. You'll notice that this machine is much smaller than my CO2 laser. This machine that I have is a 200 by 200 millimeter workspace. It's basically the threaded inserts is uh, area is the workspace that I have for this fiber laser. All right, you'll notice that this physical form factor is smaller and more compact, but a little different. So let me go over the parts of this machine. First, we have this back here. This looks like your standard PC tower. This has the electronic guts of the fiber laser inside it. We have a uh, the main board on, we have a source switch, and then we have the actual uh, laser on here. When I push this in, fans are gonna come on to keep it cool, so I don't have that fully on. Some look different, some have a turnkey. That's more of a safety switch. This one doesn't have a turnkey, it's just the style of it. Uh, next, we have this separate piece. It is connected by a big rubber flexi wire back here, so you can't disconnect this. Um, but this piece is the actual bed and laser head. So what we have is a turnstile here. I turn this and rotate it. That makes this go up and down, and that gives the focus uh, to the material we're lasering. And then we have the actual lens right here, and I have a lens cap to cover it up to keep it safe when it's not being in use. And then we have this turnstile. Uh, it's got a lead screw in it to make the actual Galvo lens go up and down. And then down below, it's attached to an aluminum bed and it's got threaded inserts and we have some bars we can make um, all sorts of jigs with. I have an add-on piece, which is a rotary. I'll show this in a future video. And finally, we have a foot pedal. This is used to turn the laser on and off if you are not by your computer to turn it on and off. The way this laser works, you have to use a program called EasyCAD. It is a terrible program. Um, but it is the only thing that works with fiber lasers until hopefully Lightburn comes out with a version for fiber lasers. We can only hope and pray. It does require this machine to be plugged in via USB to USB cable. So I'm plugging this tower in to my PC to be able to use it. It has to be plugged in to be able to use it. You cannot put a file on a USB stick and plug it in here and run it it must be connected to a computer to use. Here's some really quick examples of engraving I've done on this block of aluminum. It gets really, really fine detail. Here's my logo really big. I have my face, and this is a block of 6061 aluminum. There's my logos. I did Brian's logo, and it gets the letters down to microscopic. It is that exact, that amazing, and it's very quick. So let's take a look at me actually fiber lasing something uh, a job I'm doing for a 3D printer company. We're gonna fiber laser their logo onto some uh, aluminum extrusion. All right, so we're in front of my desktop computer and I have it plugged in USB to the laser uh, with a very long powered extension. So this is what the laser program looks like. This is EasyCAD. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in an SVG that was created in a different uh, program, although you can create SVGs in this. It's just a really hard and terrible program to do it in. Um, and we're going to load the file. So I'm just going to import that SVG. I'm going to center it on my work bed. This is the work bed here. And we can see that if I zoom in, here's what it's going to say. Power belt 3D, tiny belt 
uh, beta, this is beta number two. So you're able to do two things with this. One is just the outlines like any laser can do or any CNC, and the other is filling it in. For me, I need to fill this in, so I'm gonna select my graphic. I'm going to do something called hatching. There's a whole bunch of settings that we can get into in a future video. I'm gonna hit okay. You can notice it turned to a solid black. And now if you're familiar with lasers or CNCs, we need to do something with power and speed. Again, this is a future video, but I've already selected um, uh, something called uh, power. So how powerful I'm gonna run the laser, the speed at which I'm gonna run the laser. Uh, and with a fiber laser, there's something introduced called a frequency. And that's kind of how much material it's gonna take out as it's um, going. That's the best way I can describe it. There is a website I'll share in the link in the description below that kind of breaks this down. And um, I have a 30 watt laser and a lot of what the website shows is a 30 watt laser. The final two things at the computer we need to show down here is at the bottom left. One is called red and one is called mark. I'm gonna hit red and then we're gonna take a look at what that does over at the machine. So I already know this setting works. So we're just gonna go over to the machine and we'll see how it works as I laser this. Okay, we're at the machine. I'm placing down the aluminum extrusion. I already know this is kind of where I want it. We'll go over more detail in future videos, but I have it set down to where I want it. Now on the EasyCAD program, we're gonna hit the word red, and you'll notice there's a red dot right there, and we have this red flickering around. There are two laser beams in this, a red dot, you can see that's going around my hand, and then that is a positioning laser. It is not a cutting laser in any way. This is like a red pen that you would have in uh, class when you were a kid or like a laser pointer. That's basically what it's doing. What's really cool about fiber lasers is that I can see literally where it's going to work. Uh, let's bring you in and hope that the camera picks up where this is working. One way to focus this is uh, you actually fire the laser and you turn this up and down until you, you will actually hear it being focused better. I've already done a focus. I made a really cheap focus tool out of uh, some scrap aluminum. So I put it on top of the piece I'm gonna do and I need to raise it up. And I have it set to where it will go to literally like where the line for the lens cap is. So that's it. So when you first get this, uh, you'll adjust it to uh, test where the focal point is of the laser. I'll do a separate video of that uh, on the YouTube channel in this playlist. Okay, you can see it's kind of doing a line down here, but it's actually portraying what is gonna be cut out right here. It says power belt 3D, and over here it's tiny belt uh, 002. So it's kind of cycling back and forth so you can see where it's gonna go, which makes positioning your material incredibly accurate and super easy. So once we know we have it down, we're gonna turn off the red by hitting stop. I'm gonna come up to the uh, machine tower and I'm gonna turn on the actual laser switch. I do this now because I don't want it to accidentally fire with my hands underneath it. So I'll turn on the laser switch. You can hear it gets really loud with the fan inside. Now there is no protection around this in any way. So you don't wanna stick your hands in or anything and they do provide some glasses for you. Basically, this is going to produce welding white light, and you wanna protect your eyes from that welding white light. Um, always protect your eyes when using it. So I'm gonna use this foot pedal to go ahead and start the lasering, um, or I could use the computer if I went over to the computer and hit uh, laser. So this is in real time. We're not speeding up anything right now, but here's the foot pedal I'm about to Hit start, and we'll start lasering. Again, this is real time. It makes a really cool sound while it's doing this. There is some smoke, but not terrible. If you have the option to uh, evacuate the smoke, do so. This is the actual sound it's making. It's pretty futuristic. And we're finished. So that was real time. You can see it actually cut in and my fingernail is scraping it. We removed the material, we didn't in, uh, put anything on there. So that's how quick and easy it is. 
I do like to take some uh, isopropyl alcohol on a towel when I do that and just give it a quick wipe because that removes a lot of the uh, metal dust that was on there. And now we have our first laser, well, number, our second uh, lasered part. So I'm gonna do this to 33 of them. It's gonna be pretty quick. If you have your file, you're literally doing multiple parts. I mean, it is super fast. And uh, we'll get this job done here pretty quick. All right, so you see we just finished up doing our whole batch. We got one through 33. They came out really well. The only thing you have to worry about with the EasyCAD is SVGs. That program isn't very good. Fortunately, that's what we're stuck with as of uh, September 2021. So we got them all done. We're all exact. They're beautiful. And that's what a job on the fiber laser looks like. Easy money for this job. Easy money. Here I'm just going to show you some stuff I've shared on social media over the past last year of what I've done on the fiber laser. You're going to get a mix of guns and uh, all kinds of different things. So take a look. All right, so that kind of sums up the quick introduction to this fiber laser I have. Again, this is the OM Tech 30 watt fiber laser. This runs about 3,500 US dollars. And uh, so far it's really cool. I say out of everything in my entire shop that I've come across to this date, this thing is the most wow factor, especially when it's done in the blink of an eye for a lot of smaller projects. It is incredible. If you're a gunsmith, this is for you. If you're a jeweler, this is for you. If you're working with any type of metal parts, especially aluminum, aluminum comes out really well. This is 100% for you. So I'll leave links for everything down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that subscription bell so you know when I come out with more videos of this. If you wanna see anything specific to this laser, leave that in the comments and I'll try to answer them. I'll do a whole series on fiber lasering. There's not much information out there, especially with the EasyCAD program and setting it up. This literally comes in a box with zero, I mean, zero instructions. So I'll try to do more uh, informative videos on this thing. So if you buy one, you could just follow me step by step. Thanks for watching and happy lasering.